Good morning. So um, I'm from Apache, but I'm not representing Apache right here. I'm just representing myself as a member of Apache for now seven years, just to be sure that it's not mistaken. So this is my tech of the Apache Software Foundation, how it works, uh, a few numbers, a few stories, and what's the philosophy of development at Apache. So Apache, as probably everybody knows, uh, it's uh, now a 15 years old uh, organization, uh, which is one of the oldest organizations existing in this open source area. We have 4,000 committers. Committers are people who are allowed to commit some code or whatever documentation on the servers. This is quite a huge number. If you think about uh, software companies having 4,000 people contributing to some code in any company is quite an, a big number. We also have something like more than 150 projects as of 2014. It has doubled in the last five years and it's continued growing. We have an incubation system where we have something like 70 projects. Some of them are making it to a top level project. Some of them are drying in the desert, but that's the that's way. And 500 members. Members are people who are just a bit more committed than committers. They are just driving the foundation. We are voting for a board or whatever. It's more being political than anything else, but anyway. So, at the end of the day, the ISF is just about community. It is what is important, and community of developers. It's not community of project manager or community of whatever. It's just about developers, and this is what we want to be. Of course, we have users. That means the whole planet of developers who are just downloading software from Apache. But basically, so the word I want to stress out here is community. And we have a very clear mission. We want to ease development of projects. That means provide an organization that is user-friendly and developer-friendly. That's the key of what we are. Of course, we also take care of legal aspects. When it comes to open source, you can very quickly be in dire straits with legal aspect. Eclipse Foundation is going a bit further than we do, but we provide a legal umbrella for people developing projects at the Apache Software Foundation. <laughs> so how do we do to provide all those organizations and legal issues? We favor collaborative consensus. That means we do not make decisions in our side of the, of the web without telling anyone about it. We just try to build a consensus in a way that everybody can express his opinion. And at the end of the day, we vote. It's mainly what we do, and it works. Surprisingly, you know, it's like democracy, but that works. So we have quite a light, full light organization where we have two separate area. First, administrative part that nobody like because it's always a pain to do administrative and to manage software and manage things. And so administration is based on members, 500 of us, a board which is only nine people. We vote them every year. We can change them every year. We don't have a dictator or dictator things that uh, people, someone who say, I, I want to be the president for years. That doesn't work this way. And of course, the board elects a president. We don't elect the president uh, ourselves. And we have officers, and officers are just uh, people who are driving the project every day. We have 150 officers because we have 150 projects. And on the other side, the operative side, we have the development, which is led by project management committee. As I said, every project is independent. Quite like in America, you have 50 states and a federal government. It's exactly the same thing. And of course, every project hates. So the administration part, but anyway. And we have committers, and outside of Apache, we have contributors and users. Contributors are users who are just proposing some modifications, some patches, whatever. But they are not part of the development process until they are voted in, which is important. Of course, we operate openly, which is quite critical for us. We don't make any decision behind closed curtain. Everything we decide, it's open. You can just browse the board uh, numbers or 
paper a decision, it's all on the web. There is nothing secret. And transparently, of course, that means you can take every information. And I mean, it's just a matter of reading mailing list. It's all on it and on the website. One key aspect for us is that we are very lean as an organization. We don't spend millions of dollars every year. I just put the numbers I got for, from the 2016 budget. It's available on the website because we're open. And as you can see, we have a revenue of $900,000, an expense which is half of it and less half of it, with a lot of assets. That means if suddenly the revenue stream stops getting in, we can continue on for three years. And we can, of course, restrict the, the expenses. Out of it, small numbers, what we're spending are mainly fees for uh, contractors. And it's only 353. So IT management, that means the machines and everything, it's only 16,000 a year, mainly because we get machines for free, we get network for almost free. We do like paying for machines because we own them. It's important for us, but we are not spending a lot of money on IT, which is quite surprising considering the size of Apache. So let's talk about this part of, of uh, Apache, which is an infrastructure. For us, this is the base on which we build everything we build. So what we have, websites, of course, this is Apache uh, front page and every, every project page. Uh, we use Wiki, we used Confluence for a bit of time, and now we have switched to something much more uh, simpler, which is our own CMS. We have built our own CMS for some reasons, mainly ego, but that's not my issue, my problem. It works quite well, it's very simple, we own it. It's not, no, no project is forced to use it. It's offered as a service. You can use own wiki. Actually, we have three. We have Confluence, we have Mwamwa, and we have our own wiki. And I guess that more than 50% of the project has switched to the, to the wiki we are managing. We have no downtime, we have the source code, we can change, fix it, improve it. That's the way it works. For the code repositories, okay, everybody knows and thinks that Apache is quite a, a conservative uh, organization. And yeah, that's true. We are quite conservative. And for years we fought against Git. I mean, seriously. People get going and say, oh, we want GitHub, we want Git, we want Git. And, and the infrastructure people say, oh no, we won't have Git, we have Subversion. And Subversion is an Apache project. So we won't change for years. And actually we did. Three years ago, one project, one guy said, okay, now we are going to experiment with Git. And Surprisingly, I don't know why, but right now 50% of the project are using Git. That probably says something. Well, of course, we have the other half of the project we are using uh, subversion. Those code repositories are very critical to the Apache for Software Foundation. Um, this is only thing that we own for project to use. A new project coming on, say we want Mercurial, say no, not at Apache. You are using either subversion or Git. That's the way it works. Why? Because we are delivering sources. That means those repository has to be up and running 24 hours, seven day a week. That's the way it works. It requires people to run those things, to know about those things. So we're just focusing on very few, that means two kind of tools that we are only well. That's the key of, of the way it works at Apache. Few tools, but we know how it works and we we try to not having downtime, downtime for it. And of course, mail servers. Uh, one of the big characteristics of Apache is that mail is mandatory. Um, funny motto we have at Apache is, if it's not on a mail, on, it's not a mailing list, it does not exist. So everything has to be put onto the mail. If you want to take a decision, discuss about something, it has to be in a mail. If it's discussed outside of a mail system, it's discarded. We don't discuss on IRC. We don't discuss uh, on whatever uh, social media. No, we do it on the mailing list. So the mail servers are very important. And we are dealing with 
I don't remember the exact number, of, but something like thousands and thousands of mail every day. And we have probably 1,000 mailing lists uh, uh, available in <coughs> Apache. That's critical. And we own the, the mail servers. We are managing it. We are doing quite a good job, I think, with spam. Thanks, thanks God. 99.7% well, of, of mail are spams at Apache. That's quite, quite huge. And as a committer, I don't receive that much spams, which is good. Uh, of course, for spams which are coming from the outside, if it's not known if it's a spam or not, then it goes through a moderation system. And we do, as active moderator, accept or refuse the mail. So the user are not burdened by stupid spam about buying things like, you know, making man, you man, a better man, or whatever, things that, medicines. Um, I don't want to talk about it. About issue trackings, we are using mainly JIRAs and bugs here. We can have other systems, that doesn't matter. This is the two things that are maintained at Apache, but it's not mandatory. If you want to use another bu uh, bug, system, bug system tracking, fine, your business. And didn't mention Jenkins, which is used, but we are using also other systems to, to track continuous build. It's not mandatory. You can have projects that are not using Jenkins. Uh, I do use Jenkins on two of my projects, and not considering that much important for us. But I know the other projects are using other uh, continuous integration system outside of the Apache. This is, this is not part of the Apache mandatory system. And we are distributing sources, and quite big sources from some time, and binaries, but many sources. When I think about binaries, I'm thinking about OpenOffice. Um, they two have the exact same problem at uh, Document Foundation. OpenOffice is quite big when you download the binary. It's something like 400,000, no, 400 megabytes. And it requires quite a huge bandwidth to deal with, you know. Well, the last number, it's we are downloading four terabytes of data is downloaded every day. Almost finished. So we didn't want to assume that all the Apache server will su support all the, down, uh, all the bandwidth for all the planet. So it's the distributed system with 200 mirrors all over the planet. It's not our mirrors, it's for Oracle mirrors, IBM, whatever. People who want to allocate, let's say, 4 terabyte of data to store everything which is on Apache server to open it to the world. So far as no bandwidth, it's OK. And it works. They are rarely done. If one mirror is done, then you can switch on the one. Uh, the machines, we have 25 physical servers, bare mission, and 40 VMs. Uh, the number has grown quite, quite big in the last five years. Uh, when I arrived, we had only something fi five servers at all. Now it's 25. And mainly because we, we wanted to have a smoother uh, operating system. Uh, for the users and for the project. And the VMs is going a bit uh, further because we have a distributed uh, project like Cassandra, uh, Hadoop, whatever that requires uh, some test bed for those, those, their project and we use VM for that. Of course, we have no employee. That's a big difference with other companies. We use contractors. That means if we have troublesome with money, we can just stop paying contractors. And coming back to what we did five years ago, that means having volunteers to manage the infrastructures. It works, it works better with contractors because then we can force them to work on something when volunteers can say, okay, I'm only days, I won't do it. It's not my, my take. It works, really. I uh, could talk about projects, but I think I'm off time. The rest of my slides about the philosophy of project and why we're working this way. But main message is already what we have done here. It's very simple. We are conservative people. We want something that works with a very limited number of, of tools because we don't need that many tools. And at the end of the day, what counts is the quality of the project, the quality of the source we are delivering to the people, and that's it. If you have any questions. Just one question on the budget slide. The, you had uh, $16,000 for, was that advertising? Is that for, uh, IP. Like, 
uh, going to events or so, oh, I'm sorry, seventy nine thousand dollars advertising. So um, advertising or advert or advertising. Or yeah, no what I mean advertising it's mainly PR. Okay. I mean when we have a new project, an important project release, we want to spread the world about it. So we pay someone who just get in contact with the press and say, okay, we are announcing that Hadoop is releasing version blah, 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 and spread the world. It costs money. You know. And when you say fees, are the fees to the contractors? Yes, absolutely. We have four contractors and one executive administrative. Uh, paperwork. <laughs> it's so hard to find volunteers to do paperwork. These 25 servers are run by those four contractors? Yes. Hopefully we don't have a lot of downtimes. We sometimes have issues like get, getting hacked. For instance, let's think about the SSL issues that we had at the beginning of this year. It took three days for all those guys to recreate all the keys and, and re re replace the SSL open, open SSL version that has been uh, hacked or has been discovered as faulty. And with 25 machines, you can imagine that those guys just work their, their ass out uh, for, for three days. They probably work something like 16 hours a day just to get this thing fix, fixed. Th this is important for us to have people that do that. I think there's something interesting. Is, uh, so you mentioned you have the uh, services or the applications that are mandatory, yep. and those that are not mandatory. There are only one thing which is mandatory. Or two things, mailing list and, and a repository uh, as a Git or subversion, that's it. So these are part of the DNA of the, the, the organization of the community? Yeah, they Be because we are delivering sources mm -hmm. and we want to do it openly. A sources is on the repository, it has to work mm -hmm. and it's shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, it's openly, we are working openly so we need mailing list and wiki of course. Uh, we don't have a physical location. <laughs> it's totally remote. Uh, uh, we have some location where we have the servers. It's uh, OUSL, it's the uh, University of uh, Oregon. Oregon. They lend us some, some, some space where we can put the servers and, and, and the network. But I think we pay for the networks because we want to, to be sure that it's keep going. We don't have location. Keep, uh, we do have a backup server in, in Europe, mainly for the code repository, uh, in order to avoid long trip, you know, when you are committing code to US, but actually everybody is going to the US because there is 15 minutes, uh, 15 minute lag between the two servers and it's boresome. So, no, it works quite well. I mean, uh, we don't need to have one area where everything is. It's, it's not monetary. Do I pay? Do you, do you pay your income? No, I was Taxes, you mean? Your income, I mean, uh, depending on your physical location. No, I don't think we pay for the location. to compare you to Google. Do uh, in Oregon, we, where we have the, um, uh, the server, uh, they are borrowing us the space. But if we had to pay it, we could. We have money for it. It's convenient to have a university. OK, you can use it. Uh, talking about Git, it's Git run, it's GitHub or it's, no, it's Git, Git at Apache? GitHub and Apache does not fit well together. We want to own our system. That means ah. we discussed for, for years with GitHub. Let us, uh, the, the, the binaries, we will install it on, on our servers. And GitHub keep going and say, no, you are going to bring your sources to GitHub. And say, no, no way. There is no way to know where GitHub is going to be in five years. Let's think about those for, for instance. GitHub can crash, can be bought by Oracle, IBM, whatever. And then what's going to happen to all the sources that are at GitHub if we just put everything at GitHub? That's something we don't want. We want independence. Well, that's exactly the thread of thinking we have. Yeah. Just a clarification about the website. Yeah. You said that just mailing list and uh, source code is that's what, what's the situation uh, currently? Is it 
there is a, a download area for many products uh, hosted there outside their uh, website or what no we we host our own websites for many reasons, one of them is that we have built a HTTP server, so that's convenient. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, I, what I mean is that the website is not monitored. E websites are monitored, of course. We, we want the project to be visible on, on the web. Uh, the tools that you are using to develop your website is not, you are not forced to use anyone. You can use Maven to, to build the, mems, uh, the, the website. It's not monitored at all. That's you must Absolutely. Okay. That's it. It's mandatory to have a website. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I, I could have added it that, okay, source, repository, mailing list, and website, uh, of course. It can be very minimal, but uh, it's, it's a facade. Uh, you have to have a facade. Okay. Good. I'll try to Thank keep you it very you know, much, tight. Thank you. Perfect. You're welcome. Thanks. Um,